Let's take a look at this last question for this paired passage set. Okay, which choice provides the best evidence that the author of passage two would agree to some extent with the claim attributed to Michael Merzenich in lines 34 through 37 in passage one? Okay, so this is a multiple step question. So first we're gonna have to find this claim by Michael Merzenich in passage one, and then find evidence that passage two agrees with it. So let me find that Merzenich claim in passage one. Then I'll say it in my own words in order to get control of the idea and help it to stick in my head. So let's bounce over to passage one. Lines 34 to 37. During the pre-read, you can see I, I put little brackets here. Um, so here is the quote. When we adapt to a new cultural phenomenon, including the use of a new medium, we end up with a different brain, says Michael Merzenich, a pioneer of the field of neuroplasticity. So in other words, the internet is changing our brains. I'm going to write that here. One of these choices is going to agree that the internet is changing our brains. So let's go through each choice from the question and see what it says. All right, so now we're looking for these line references in passage two, 45 to 47, and then 47 to 48. Okay, it looks like I've got, I've got three that are right next to each other. So 45 through lines 52. So let's, let's have a look-see. Okay, so 45 to 47, 47 to, what was it, 49? Let me look, sorry. Yes to changes, and then 50 to 52. Okay, so, so let's go through these three choices since they're right next to each other and see how they do against the claim, the internet changes brains. Do they agree? Choice A, lines 45 through 47. Critics of new media sometimes use science itself to press their case, citing research that shows how experience can change the brain. All right, so that does have the phrase experience can change the brain in it, but be careful. This just recaps the view of the people who say that the internet is changing our brains. It doesn't tell us that the author agrees with it. I don't think choice A is it for us. And choice B is yes to changes. So starting here, yes, every time we learn a fact or skill, the wiring of the brain changes. Okay, now we're talking. The author concedes a little here. Yes, it does change things a little. Right? I think we have our answer. This is exactly what I was looking for. On test day, I would select B and move on if I were pressed for time. But let's look and see why choices C and D have to be wrong. Okay, so 50 to 52. But the existence of neuroplasticity does not mean that the brain is a blob of clay pounded into shape by experience. In other words, neuroplasticity exists, but it has limits. And this is introducing a view that opposes the idea that the internet is changing our brains. So... That's no good either. And then whatever choice D was, I don't remember. Let's go back to the, the question itself. Lines 73 to 74, media consumes. Media critics write as if the brain takes on the qualities of whatever it consumes. All right, so this is later in the passage where the author is criticizing uh, thinkers like Michael Merzenich, not agreeing with them. So choice B is our answer. I think one of the keys here is agree to some extent. We know these passages are opposed to one another. We're just being asked to find the one place where the author of passage two might admit that the internet does change our brains, at least a little. Now, I might have made this question look easy just now, but it's not. Remember the steps. Get control of the question by using your own words. I found the claim being considered, and I got control of it by restating it in my own words. I rephrased it. It can help to actually write down your version so you can hold it more tightly in your brain as you hold the choices up to it one by one. And then test each choice against your version. I went through each of the choices looking for the one that agreed most strongly with my own version of the claim we were trying to find agreement with. With practice, patience, and preparation, you'll be able to take on questions like these on test day. Good luck out there. You've got this.